The following program has been rated GE by the Kenya Film Classification Board. It is therefore suitable for general family viewing. Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome to Chugu Chajabi. I am your host Ruth Mudiu. We want to talk about empowering the elderly. In our studio, we are hosting an elderly, uh, a member from the Elderly Society of Kenya, and he's going to tell us more about the society, and more so, he's going to, de to tell us how they've been accepted or how they've been discriminated in the society. Do you think they have been given their right position in the society? That's why the Elderly Society of Kenya was formed, so that they can be having a forum where they can speak and be heard. Also, we have our pastor, Pastor Derek Musomba of Good News Mission Church, who is here to guide us spiritually. He's going to talk to us and teach us. Because each one of us, we are heading to the elderly bracket. When you reach there, how would you like to be treated? This is the time you learn how you'll be, you you are supposed to treat and to handle the elderly. Uh, Pastor, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, I can see you are heading to that bracket. That's right. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. And uh, somebody told me that older person is dear to the grave. How is one supposed to prepare? <laughs> <laughs> it's a trick question. But uh, when you are approaching elder age, uh -huh. uh, you learn through the experience of their health. Your grandpa, your grandma, you can see the baby, so you can prepare. Mm -hmm. But the greatest preparation is that heaven. Heaven? Yes. So you are going to teach us how to prepare? Yes. Because uh, I think death is not only for the elder. No. It is for everyone. everyone. Yeah. Asante Sada. Uh, we have our guests. Uh, he's going to tell us who he is, and we are going to learn from him. Uh, how are you, Mr. Joroge? Uh, good morning, everybody. <coughs> Thank you for the opportunity to come and discuss on this very important subject. My name is David Kamau Joroge. I am a member of uh, Elderly Society of Kenya. We are based uh, in Kikuyu Town, although there are representation uh, in many parts of the country, and mainly we focus on the issues of the, of the elderly. As you are aware, look at the population, we are placed into, we can say about four cohorts. One is the children, from children you go to youth, youth, you go to older, old, and then finally you go to the, the older. And the way it is put on a chronological age basis, zero to 18 years. Normally we say uh, zero to 17 years, 364 days. That is the age of a child. If you are 18 to 34, 364 days, you are a youth, and if you are 35, currently to 59, 364 days, you are old, and 60 and above, according to the UN, is when you are called older. And uh, it is in that, uh, that bracket that you find most of the people, they are suffering many discriminations. Quite a lot of others have uh, written, especially one writ uh, written by an author called Batra. He has written something about called ageism. And ageism is a discrimination on the basis of age. And you will find most of the elderly people are uh, discriminated because either they cannot do certain uh, functions. 
okay, you reach a certain stage where you find you physically cannot work. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, another author called Joseph Murphy has written about the power of your subconscious mind. And he, he explains about that age, and he says that uh, uh, nature disables disable certain functions so that other functions can work. Mm -hmm. And mainly what you cannot do certain physical thing, uh, to the society you are considered gone, you are considered you <laughs> can't think, <laughs> you are considered you can because you cannot work. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, that author has also shown that age, you should see it as a dawn of wisdom, as uh, the age of this. There are certain things you cannot do physically, but uh, the mentally, you can be able to do it. Yeah. This issue was also discussed sometimes in uh, about 2002 uh, by a United Nations Assembly, which is uh, called the Madrid Plan of Action on Aging. And he made uh, several recommendations how you deal about aging. And he says that the society will stop from uh, viewing older persons as just beneficiaries of welfare, but the participants in the development and to benefit from it. Mm -hmm. But you find, uh, you know, practically this is not being implemented because you are viewed, because you are old, you can't do anything. You find even uh, in Kenya, we are only giving uh, the old people, giving them that uh, welfare benefit. <laughs> the old people are going to be given 2,000 shillings a month or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. So in fact, when you hear people talking about the people with a disability, you mm -hmm. find the last list includes the older persons <laughs> who should receive back. <laughs> uh, you, you, uh, you have heard even either the, either the politics in society, that's the way they look at it. Mm -hmm. But you, we should look at it uh, differently. Mm -hmm. Already the UN Charter has already said that, that uh, even older persons will participate in the development. You mm -hmm. do as much as you can be able mm -hmm. to do. They have also said there should be facilities for lifelong learning, as long as you can learn. Mm -hmm. Lifelong learning, li lifelong working. Mm -hmm. But you find this is not being implemented. Look at uh, Kenyan Constitution 2010. Section 57 talks about how the older people will be treated. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I think 57C, we say the state shall support older persons to pursue personal development. Mm -hmm. But you find for the Constitution not to work, it requires legal and regulatory framework. Mm -hmm. But you find the 11th Parliament which you should have done that, didn't do it. Mm -hmm. At least you could even see uh, our parliament was really practicing ageism. You had, when an issue was to be referred to the Senate, that's the area for retirees. You have had <laughs> that being said. And so it is assumed if you are retiree, mm -hmm. then uh, mentally you are gone. You so are you gone. see this discrimination. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's look at the, the 12th parliament mm -hmm. we have and the people who have been elected as members of parliament on uh, parliament, you will see the three cohorts. You see there are people in the bracket of the youth yeah. who are about uh, less than 35 years. Mm -hmm. And you also get this group, which is 35 to 59. Mm -hmm. the, those are the new practitioners of ageism. And uh, you have also some members who are also in the other cohort, mm -hmm. uh, who are 60 mm -hmm. and above. Uh -huh. So I think now the blend of parliament, I think when they settle, I hope the issues will be discussed across the board. I think there will be respect. They will not be calling each other retirees because I think usually the older person in the last parliament were mainly in the Senate. Mm -hmm. But I think now, the National Assembly, where usually the <laughs> law is originated, <laughs> has got um, a good blend. Mm -hmm. And we hope the issues of the uh, older persons mm -hmm. uh, will be listened. And the only thing we also say that usually you will see the practitioners of ageism are the victim of tomorrow. Yeah. Because 
uh, we are told by the Bible, God help me to count my days. Mm -hmm. So every day there is always somebody. In fact, they said every second they are about to put a number of people who pass the next age group. I mean, you find you have reached the 18, so you are, you, because it's only chronological age. But there are other facets we should look at as, Christ, as Christians, that uh, a human being is a four-part being. Mm -hmm. That you have got the mental aspect, you got the physical, mm -hmm. you got the, the spiritual, and you go the social. Mm -hmm. So it's only not only, okay, the physical you deal with in the nation. So it is not only the feeding. Mm -hmm. You need to feed the total person. Yes. And I think uh, uh, even our Lord Jesus Christ, even the way it is written, mm -hmm. they didn't tell us too much about him. They told us, okay, he was born in a major, mm -hmm. the time he was received in the, in the church, mm -hmm. and the next time when he went to preaching. But when we look at it, I think it is Luke 2.54. Mm -hmm. It says that Jesus grew, the, uh, he was grew mentally and also uh, physically being loved by God and the people. Mm -hmm. So you see those are the four, the four areas yeah. and we should focus on that. So it should be very easy to end ageism. You are facilitated to do what you can do as long as you can do it, you should be allowed to do it without any discrimination. So the alternative way, the remedy mm. of stopping ageism mm. is... It's just practicing it. You know, you ask me, what is it now can you do? Yeah. You identify what you can do mm -hmm. and it contributes to the development of the country and you are allowed to do it. Mm -hmm. And who should stop this ageism? I, I think the, I think mainly it should start with um, with our parliament because they bring the law mm -hmm. to say this is how the older persons will be facilitated. Mm -hmm. You see, like the constitution says, it will be supported to pursue personal development, but without the regulation, the regulatory framework to say mm -hmm. how it is going to be done mm -hmm. and the legal. So the first step, because even if you ask for budget. Mm -hmm. to help people to do self-development. <laughs> and you go to national uh, treasury. If there is no legal framework, mm -hmm. they can't put it in the budget. So the starting point is the parliament, mm -hmm. where somebody will come with a bill, how the older persons will be supported mm -hmm. to pursue personal development. Then the regulatory framework. Mm -hmm. Then when we have that institution framework, then it can work. But at the moment, you only continue receiving, queuing to receive 2,000 shillings a month. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't need that. They need to be able to work. Go and not get discriminated. Mm -hmm. If you can do certain function, you go to an office, you are allowed to, to do it. Mm -hmm. As long as you deliver results, you should be allowed to do it. But uh, I want to ask you a question, Mr. Kabau. If we start incorporating the elderly in these offices, how about the upcoming youth? Will they have the vacancies? Maybe to have the, the experience required. Also, to, ha to occupy the, to take over the, the positions with, uh, which are there. How do you think we are going to balance the two? I, I don't I don't say uh, if you reach a certain age you continually being in the office mm -hmm. but uh, you see like now uh, the country is encouraging entrepreneurship mm -hmm. that's the way I mean uh, do, uh, doing business mm -hmm. so if I work for a certain number of years mm -hmm. and I leave they say either the company or the and I go into the society mm -hmm. that I should not be put on the shelves because I've retired, <laughs> waiting to breathe my last. I need to be allowed, what is it that I can do mm -hmm. to contribute to the growth? Let's say at the community level, mm -hmm. you are in the community. Mm -hmm. Like uh, now the devolution, it is it is going to be a participation. Mm -hmm. So we need that experience to be able to, to combine all that mm -hmm. to do the development and the ground level. but you refuse to be listened because you are old. <laughs> you know, we are saying, mm -hmm. 
This is this mzee is analog. <laughs> we need the digital. Hashikanishi. Hashikanishi. <laughs> and you see, <laughs> there is nobody who digital is a technology. Uh, the analog is a technology. Mm -hmm. Human being is God's creation. <laughs> it's wrong for me to call you analog or digital. But if we, we take you to a class mm -hmm. and you fail to learn computer, mm -hmm. we say, yes, Madam Luke is one of those who cannot understand the computer. And since you cannot do manual age, mm -hmm. manual work, mm -hmm. then okay, she should you be look at somebody, <laughs> yes. But uh, if you look at the history from where we came from, mm -hmm. where it is written about work, mm -hmm. you will see they say formerly there used to be hunting gatherers. Then from there we came to agrarian age, agriculture. Mm -hmm. Then we have got to industrial age. Mm -hmm. And then we came to information age. Now we have more of our knowledge work age. Mm -hmm. that, is, uh, that is where the development where you are. Mm -hmm. So the knowledge work age doesn't require physical, mm -hmm. require mentally. We can even sit with you, you can be able, I, we can have a chat, yes. and I tell you my experience. Yes. And because you are a digital literate, mm -hmm. you can translate all that. Yes. But uh, when you watch me, watch you, watch you, watch you, end. All right. This is the <laughs> thing we want to move away from. Let me ask you, hmm. there is this time that you are working, maybe hmm. you, you are employed at the age of, uh, 25, 30, mm. and you work maybe for a span of 10, 20 years. Mm. And because I know that I'm aging, mm. why don't I prepare for after my retirement? When I retire, this is what I will do. Meaning, I'll not need the, this employment, but I'll be a boss of myself. This one, it is giving me an assurance that I'll, no one will take me to a, put me to a shelf. Why don't the elderly society do this? These are the, the opportunities. You g if you go to an office, mm -hmm. the way you, you are looked at, you know the thing is that we are told the communication is from very angles. Mm -hmm. uh, you, 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 they say you listen to the, to the, to the words mm -hmm. and the voice and the body language. Mm -hmm. When you go to the office, mm -hmm. the words that will be told the way you are told, the body language, you tell you you are a Mr. or Mrs. we don't want. <laughs> Why do I have, uh, have you? Uh, I, you have not seen that. I have it seen is it called severally. Kinetics. The body language you say, oh, if your person is wasting time coming here, why can't? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you get response from that. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that you, uh, you are not needed. Uh, you are not needed. <laughs> so we want end of that discrimination if i can be able to do it i have facilitated because let's say if i got my cv and i combine mm -hmm. it will require the, a person who will do a physical yes. so we will talk with the youth mm -hmm. and especially when we come to professionalism like if you look i look i admire the lawyers when they are in court they don't look at the age you see a very young person is uh, putting up so long as he's uh, Relating, making references to a case, mm -hmm. and another one, they don't, uh, 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 to they me, I've seen they don't look at the issue of age. Yeah. And I think we should go that road, mm -hmm. that if there is something that you've got to do, and you can't do it, you are mentally, is, you are working, mm -hmm. we listen to what you do, we mm -hmm. can translate it into language that it can be done, mm -hmm. and we, we work together. Let us look at, that's the profession where you, de, you, you learn even how you work. You can continue still complementing. Do you mm -hmm. see that one, which the UN said that you'll be allowed to do lifelong learning. Mm -hmm. And when you, lifelong learning, is say if you, to learn and not to, to do what you have learned. There's somebody, this called uh, Stephen Covey has written. Mm -hmm. To learn and not to do what you have learned is mm -hmm. not uh, to learn. Mm -hmm. So you have to read mm -hmm. and then be allowed to practice mm -hmm. what you do. Mm -hmm. So as long as you can be able to to articulate issues, mm -hmm. then uh, like now we come and talk here. Our pastor is able to take notes of what we are saying, mm -hmm. can put it in very nice language, and tomorrow it will, when it is written, it will not show that it is good. Mm -hmm. So it is a participatory process. Mm -hmm.
you do the role that you can take, mm -hmm. I do. So long as I have got something I can re relate mm -hmm. to the issues at hand, mm -hmm. it should, the ageism should be done away with. Mm -hmm. And because we need it to develop in our country, let's say now, mm -hmm. even now we say, because they said the population of uh, the old people mm -hmm. is uh, rising Sorry, I hope I can remember the figures. It's rising mm -hmm. more than the population of the, uh, the young people. It is, uh, that is where we are going. Mm -hmm. Now, even if you put all those people on the welfare, mm -hmm. these people who are young have got the responsibility to bring up children, they will have to, to pay more taxes to maintain the old. The old. So why maintain all those who are uh, totally incapable of doing anything but do not say on the basis of your yeah. age, <laughs> you should not uh, do this, you should uh, stay on the shelves. You see, it is something so interesting, <laughs> Mr. Kambau, <laughs> because <laughs> as you have put it, mm. we should not discriminate. Let us use those who are usable. Yes. And let us shelve those who are uh, but shareable. Mm. Like you, you, spoke, you talked about these 2,000 shillings which the elderly receive mm. from the government. Mm. I have seen uh, people who are very well capable of taking care of their medication, their meal, everything they can do it comfortably mm. because they have a lot of wealth. Mm. But still, they are going for these 2,000 shillings. Okay, you are arguing that there is this ageism. Mm. The people in this bracket are being maybe discriminated or maybe they are not recognized, they are not being used. But on the other hand, why should I, I have all the wealth, why should I go for the 2,000? I, I wonder why, I don't know what is the, the, the criteria. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I, I will tell you, I had uh, the opportunity of uh, working in, in the program which, uh, which was uh, dealt with. It's called uh, uh, taking care of the orphans and those people who are uh, vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And uh, the qualification criteria mm -hmm. was that, that you had it to be not only old, but you had it to be, to be really vulnerable, desperate. <laughs> In fact, I don't, I don't know whether you are really respecting God. He has given you opportunity, you are earning a lot of resources, mm -hmm. and then you go and you get yourself enlisted to get the 2,000, whereas a more deserving case loses that opportunity. Exactly. To me, I, I, I think it's a lack of integrity. Mm -hmm. You should be able to thank God that exactly. at least you can raise uh, 2,000 or uh, even, even more. Even more. But don't go you for it. Don't go out. for it because, <laughs> uh, yes, you can give out. Yeah. Don't go for it because the, I don't know what the criteria was used to bring that person. Because if it is only, it's only age, you must also, you are aged but uh, unable to do either. Either you don't have uh, people who are supporting you mm -hmm. or you know, you must be really a desperate, a desperate case. But if you have got such a case, mm -hmm. they are me, there. I, the, I, the, hmm? they are there. I, 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 I don't know. Pastor will tell us <laughs> from <laughs> the uh, from the Christian point of view. Mm -hmm. Really, I don't think it's really part of integrity. I, I, I want an opportunity to do the things that I can, that do, you can do to contribute to the development of the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know, to increase the budget of the of the old, to increase the 2000, I need to be able to generate pay taxes to so that at budget. least at least even if, the, the, if there is uh, more money being collected, mm -hmm. it can be raised to 3000. But instead of, because we are not very many who are uh, that kind of vulnerable mm -hmm. or, or desperate in that. I would think, I think it would be an integrity, lack of integrity. It would be very sad, like I would go mm -hmm. and queue mm -hmm. to get the 2,000. Imagine you are parking, like you, are, you are V8 or V6 out uh, there, yeah, going uh, to queue for 2,000. Is, uh, uh, is, is it morally right? <laughs> I think. It's <laughs> the issue. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to to examine ourselves. Sure.
I, if you are in that program mm -hmm. and you are and, and you are able, mm -hmm. it's only you want to deny another person to get. I, I think we really need to examine ourselves. All right, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, we are going to take a short break. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon. Welcome back. Our SMS slide is two double one double four. We we are talking about elderly. They need to be empowered. And also, the Bible talks about wisdom. There is this uh, great wisdom of King Solomon, which is known in the Bible. And this wisdom came from heaven. And since we have our elderly who have seen many things, and they have gone along their day, why don't we use them? And if we can use them, can we change our lives? We have our pastor who has been studying the Bible. And he has gathered a lot of wisdom. Now that we, ha we are not using, we have neglected our elderly, let's go back to the Bible and listen to what our pastor will guide us. Karibu, Pastor. Okay. Uh, <coughs> uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, the elderly here. Uh, uh, you corrected me, uh, my mindset also. As a youth, as a, no, no, I'm not a youth, I'm in old age. <laughs> I'm old because I'm over 40. No, I'm approaching to the. It's blackhead. It's blackhead. So, also, it made me to think more deeper uh, about and also to, to read. He has read um, a lot of books. Mm -hmm. So, when you see somebody wrote, somebody wrote, mm -hmm. and it's accurate. Uh, so, I'm so thankful to have such uh, elderly people in this uh, society. They can give us wisdom. Uh, we have a mindset that uh, we don't like to be called mze, first sure. of all. I'm um, talking quitter. If somebody told you any mze, yeah, that's any mze. You feel like, even when you lose, yeah, <laughs> you'll feel that like you, you are useless, you're becoming. But when I see the mze has an idea, that's not the, that's not the case. If I'm old, it does not mean I'm useless. But because of that mindset, you become old, the rest you become unuseful. Mm -hmm. And this, that is a wrong mindset. And we think we need to start teaching also. I don't know whether it will be a, be a, a curriculum in the school. <laughs> to start because for sure, even I don't like to be. I don't want to be in that blanket of waze. Mm -hmm. But now I have a white hair. But this shows I'm becoming muse. Even if I, I may meet even some of my young men, he said, Hey, Pastor, now you are becoming Muse. We went to a movie. <laughs> now you have a white hazel. So, because when I feel I'm becoming Muse, it means I'm becoming useless and useful. Not useless, but useful. It's something yeah. I cannot be used. Yeah. But when I had this Muse today, I realized for sure if Kenya government can create a certain, after you retire from this, is something you can do, even if it cannot need manpower. Mm -hmm. But we need people who have wisdom. In the Bible, there was a king. There is an example, I, don't, I cannot remember clearly, but there's a king who uh, father died, and then the young man. And then there was two opinions. He went and requested and asked the opinion of the waze. Mm -hmm. And there's an opinion which they followed, the, the opinion of the young man. Mm -hmm. But you can see later, he was destroyed. So even today, I realize we need waze. Mm -hmm. Because long time ago, I think we used to, when I was young, we could see, uh, we used to put fire. That's, uh, that's rural area, mm -hmm. not like Nairobi. But we used to set fire with waze, and then we ca they can teach us many things. Mm -hmm. uh, there's these stories of all things. And then in that society, when our ma mothers were also having such, the grandmothers having the, 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 the female uh, siblings, mm -hmm. uh, youth. And then we can talk together and you can, can gain wisdom. But I think, I don't know whether there is that culture is like, because of the, it's dead because of the digital. Mm -hmm. Even the Mze was saying, this our elderly said about the digital and analog. I want to say, uh, that's my experience, I cannot, you may support or you may not, you may disagree. Without analog, there is no digital. The foundation of digital is analog. But now, because we, especially these are young, 
know they are they are pride because they are in digital age so they feel like analog is analog yeah. even there so they feel that's the mindset we are better yeah. we can do without analog yeah. they are forgetting that the digital came from is born by analog if there was no analog meaning analog has more power <laughs> it can in other words can it has the foundation is the one is what the digital if analog they despise then they dis also themselves the digital world so in this case also I want to talk about the Bible. Okay. The, I told you oh. when you are young, in the morning, the, your shadow is long. When you are young, you have many dreams. But as time goes on, the sun rises, it comes and it passes and becomes long going backwards yeah. and then it disappears. This is our life. Our life disappears after. The more we grow up, the more we... I cannot say it's pain to say I'm approaching my end. I'm approaching my end. But now, in a certain age, now, for example, in the society, we are speaking about now the kind of physical world, not spiritual world. As Musa was speaking, for sure it is true. If we can do something, when I see this, even as that speech, he can give us, he can be on the TV, he can be called and give. Even he can, he can give to youth, yeah. like university students, wisdom. We need them. Today, I changed also my mindset. I mean, I will campaign for you as this. <laughs> I will campaign. <laughs> I, I don't know whether this head of society is in Kenya or all or is only it it in the 47 counties of this country. Yes, then we can raise up and then we support them mm -hmm. as youth and campaign. We need this was said to gain some wisdom from them. But also I want to speak about the Bible because I'm a pastor. There is one, there is one Muse. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Muse, I want to read that scripture, uh, Genesis chapter 47, verse 9, if you allow me. Mm -hmm. It says, and Jacob said, no, and Pharaoh, verse 8 and 9, and Pharaoh said unto Jacob, how old art thou, art thou? And Jacob said unto Pharaoh, the days of the, the, days of the years of my pilgrimage are an hundred and thirty years. Few and evil have the days of the years of my life been, and have not attained unto the days of the years of my life of my fathers in the days of their appearing bridge. So you can see Jacob will say his days we are few and evil. Why? It's a secret now spiritually because I'm, I've learned the Bible. Then when you see Jacob, Jacob get, was given a promise by God, but he didn't believe the promise. I can say we have such Christians who are like Jacob and we have who are like David. When you see David wrote Psalms, Psalms, 150 Psalms, in the, that's which are chapters in the Bible. And he's the one who passed through many, many afflictions, many problems, sorrowful things. But you see, where there is problem, if you have faith, that faith in God can overcome. But you see, Jacob was given a promise. We Kenyans, we know the promises of God, but we don't believe. Knowing the promise and believing is totally two different things. I may know the promise. Yes, God promised me this and this and this and this. For example, now I have, I have a dream to campaign for Wazes. Yeah, for sure. I had his speech. He's a lecturer. I admire you, isn't it? You can give wisdom. Yes, it's here, isn't it? So it can be useful. If K Kenya can create their jo a job to them, they can, they have, even if it's not manual, but they can. So this knowing the scripture, knowing the promise, Ruth, even you may know the, the promise, but you don't believe. Exactly. For example, there's a promise that Jesus washed away our sins. Every time I, I mention this, yes, I know, this is a promise. I have washed, Derek, I've washed your sins through my blood. Mm -hmm. This is Jesus. And then on the cross he said, it is, it is finished. Kikuyu, it means what? Mekwisha. No, yeah, I think he said it's based on Kikuyu. I think it's come from Kikuyu, around Kikuyu. But when you see Imekwisha, it is finished. I know, everybody knows. But ask them, then do you have that sin? They say, of course I have. So knowing the scripture and believing the scripture, the promise of God, totally different. Because this is Muse, is a, is already said. It's a, I don't want to be stay. Uh, finally, I lived 
120 years. I lived 80 years. Showed few and evil. Mm -hmm. Then I learned, why this guy? Why? Because I don't want to be, be like Jacob. I want to be like David. David wrote a Psalms. As you know, Psalms like, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 150 praising God. How he saw them. How God is mighty. Mm -hmm. But we have never seen Jacob praising God. What's the difference? We may be, I may be coming hold with the, on the side, being in the side of who? Mm -hmm. Jacob mm -hmm. or David. Mm -hmm. This Muse was given a lot of promises by God. I'll keep you. I'll be with you. Mm -hmm. Even you see the way he was blessed. He was held by a mother. Yeah. But he didn't, be, he had never believed. I can show you one, 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 uh, he used humanistic. He knew many things to tackle problems without God. Mm -hmm. He didn't include God in his problems. When you have a problem, only he himself. That's why I think this Musa is hard because I heard mentioning about Christ. Yeah. When the problem comes, <laughs> you, you involve God in your problems. When you involve God in your problems, you don't have that a lot of stress because you are not alone. You have hope. God will help. I have my creator mm -hmm. who promised he will help me in such situation. Are you getting me? Yeah. So also we need to, so to think about it. The preparation of our soul. Our soul will separate from our body. This is uh, you and me. We are not this body we see. We may see the appearance of the whole body, but the soul is same. That soul is the one which will stand before the judgment seat. Then, this we call it life after death. Life after I come out from this flesh body. Yeah. Now, as we were talking, we were talking about the life of our body. When we are soul and body are together, but this time our soul departs, separate from our body. Mm -hmm. Then this soul need to be white as snow. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. No, this is only be meant by this is not the future. When you approach the end of that okay, my end, mm -hmm. then I have to start also think what about my soul? Mm -hmm. Is my soul clear? Mm -hmm. Is it true? Mm -hmm. Will it be raised in the eternal eternity? Or will I suffer eternity? Mm -hmm. And this is only done by believing while you are alive that mm -hmm. Jesus died on the cross and washed all our sins once and forever mend us holy. Through that faith our soul also is safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You have said when I, my days are gone. Uh, does the Bible belong to young people or to old people? All people. All people. Yeah. And uh, why is it that the youth, they are not interested in the word of God? Also, they are the majority who are doing the ageism to these elderly mm. people. The Do they want to be left in this world? Like, yeah. first, first of all, the youth has the mind that they are the wazes who dies. So when you are young, you don't have a dream to die. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Yeah. But the wazes know their hope. They don't have now another hope. Is that they are, I'm approaching my end. So their relationship with God, they need... They, they, they want, they want to have a good relationship. But while you are young, you want to enjoy. This is the mindset. This is a wrong mindset because it's not based on spiritual uh, matters. It's mm -hmm. on the, 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 the worldly, you know, uh, things, yeah? the pressures of the world. But when you are young, this salvation is all because you may see, I saw in tsunami, in Japan, the time of the tsunami, even the kindergarten bus was swept away. Mm -hmm. and the young, mm -hmm. this kindergarten student, young babies were there. Mm -hmm. So death is with every, to everyone. You know why I'm asking this? Yeah. Uh, Kenya is a, is a Christian nation. Yeah. And I'm very sure the people who are churchgoers, who are Christians, mm. they are not the youth. True or false? Yeah, true. And uh, when the research was being done of the Christian, Christianity percentage in Kenya. Yeah. I'm very sure it is from your age, my age, his age. Yeah. And if these are the people who are called Christians, and many times, m not once, not twice, you've uh, told me that uh, saved sinners are the Christians. Do you think surely in these churches the true word is being taught to these people who are maybe considered to be uh, Marehemu Atarajiwa. <laughs> it is. If they are the people who are almost exiting this world mm. and they are saved sinners, don't you think there is a danger? Mm. And uh, especially 
to pastors who are teaching this word and they are not teaching the accurate word of God. If pastors can teach graciousness, God was after 10 people in Sodom and Gomorrah to set up two cities, 10 righteous men, whether they are youth or they are old, but none of them were there. Only four, that's Lot and the family, mm. were found righteous. If God could find 10 righteous, he could set that city. So if we can preach, not prosperity. Normally, we have prosperity gospel everywhere and to know according to us psychologically how we need money we need things of the world materials in the world mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so as we preach because we are just we will be blessed upon and beg with such things we are preaching but it cannot be the youth because you know you does not have money most of them exactly money. that's why they feel also they are rejecting the church or oh, if you support them you are um, after their parents to draw the attention of their parents. That's why mm -hmm. we create many activities for youth in the church, but they're not helping. The help is, first of all, if youth become the righteous. If you can raise righteous generation, then they will have power to overcome temptation of the world. Secondly, Ruth, I want to say this. Uh, <coughs> also, the Bible says in the last, in the book of Timothy, about the last mm -hmm. uh, days, mm -hmm. generation will come up. Disobedience to their parents. Lovers of themselves. Lovers of the, the pressures of the world more than the word of God. So we are living in also in those days. We can see in many youth they are not respecting their parents. Sometimes I don't blame them. Not sometimes, by the way, I don't blame When I look at the Bible, Jesus said, it said to come a point. The prophecy said, the Bible prophesied that yes. certain generation will appear in this world. So when we see them, we can see that now they are living the last days also. They don't have power to obey parents. Sure. We may also blame them, but they are fulfilling the scripture. So if they can realize I'm fulfilling the scripture, then they can change. God will have mercy on them. It says, I'll have mercy on them. If they can realize, oh God, I'm full. I try to obey my part, I can't do it. Then they can meet the grace of God. For sure, it is written in the Bible. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Kamau, I want us to, to sum up, to do our final, final uh, presentation. I want you to tell the elderly, uh, one, discrimination will be there. Why am I saying this? Uh, if you can go out, let's say, I want to go out and maybe have Kanyama Choma somewhere and have a uh, chat with my friends. And maybe at our age, I don't think we drink beer. Maybe have some tea, tea coffee, soup. When you enter in such a, a restaurant, people are looking like, I don't think he's in the right place. <laughs> uh, we need this to stop, but it won't stop because many businesses are being operated by these a uh, young group, young 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 people. So it is here to stay with us. I want you to encourage the elderly, although they be discriminated, although the ageism will remain, they should be strong, and also. Uh, Wapatia wasia, the young ones, not to discriminate these elderly people because that is where they are heading to. Mm -hmm. Take two minutes through that camera. Okay, thank you very much. First of all, I want to, to thank uh, Pastor the way he has uh, articulated the, the response. And if we go to, uh, to the Bible, it's only I can't remember what Sam it is, which he said the youth to enjoy their energy mm -hmm. and the old to enjoy <laughs> the gray hair. <laughs> so the thing is that we need to learn respect across the board. Exactly. That if you are blessed with the long days, as it is said in the fifth commandment, then your hair will definitely be gray. Today you are uh, you are uh, the practitioners of ageism. Tomorrow you are the victim. Yes, yeah, sure. So you go to be to be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. So the, the <laughs> if you have kept let's say like a butchery and all this, and Wazir are coming to take meat or to take soup, mm -hmm. do not see old and young. See customers. Exactly. If you are a business person, <laughs> see customers. Custom. It doesn't matter whether I'm coming with a stick or all this. But uh, if you are a young person with uh, a business facility, mm -hmm. don't see age, see what? A customer. A customer. Mm -hmm. 
secondly, actually, if we look at the Bible, I think it is mentioned somewhere in Isaiah 46, 5, it says, who do you compare me with? And that's, I think, God. God. Yeah. And he says, I took care of you when you are in mother's womb, and you even know when you have gray hair. Yes. So throughout the life, they are taken. So we see ourselves as a God creature, mm -hmm. you are enjoying the uh, God grace. You couldn't be able to see, I think it's also Isaiah 65, if you read somewhere, you say somebody will live at 100 years, whether you are good or wicked, I think it says yeah, somewhere yeah, yeah. there. It's so you, you can't be able to see that if they were. So I think he, if the pastor can take this message and his colleagues, mm -hmm. that uh, to avoid discrimination, part of the sermon, look at all this, this life, just find that we will go. Mm -hmm. And anybody who can contribute to the growth of the economy, mm -hmm. let you be given an opportunity, regardless of your of what you have got the age of. If we had this ageism, mm -hmm. I think it will add to the growth, it will add to the uh, knowledge transfer. Mm -hmm. As you have seen, there can't be, it, it, it is a, a, a misinterpretation uh, to say yeah. there are people who are digital and others are not. <laughs> yeah. You have to learn that one. Mm -hmm. that, those are the technologies. Yeah. Distinguish it with a human being because ourselves, we are neither digital nor analog. We are God's creation. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can be able to see your mind, you can be able to learn at any age, as long as you can learn. Mm -hmm. Let us give equal opportunity. Thank you. And then we will respect each other mm -hmm. that this person, because we cannot say there is a hope in you tomorrow when you see children. And there is also long life you work hard because you'd like to be so and so in the eight years is still working. Thank so you. I thought <laughs> if we run that respect, mm -hmm. it will bring quite a lot of change. Exactly. If the eleven the total parliament can expedite the processing of the legal and regulatory framework mm -hmm. to implement section fifty seven of the constitution, we see a lot of people who are idle being able to do uh, things. And especially now we are talking about the devolution at the community level, that wisdom will be tapped and it be used to, to accelerate the development. Thank I you, think there will be change. Thank you, Mr. Kamau. Thank you very I much. I really appreciate. Pastor, can you briefly give Yeah, I package? want to tell pastors, my colleagues, mm -hmm. to preach that waze, being a mze is not a disability. It is a blessing. They are blessing carriers, for sure. That's true. And then uh, people will not fear to be waze. They will have hope to be mze, will have wisdom and blessing for that for the Kenyan, for the society. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mr. Kamau, we really appreciate it. And mm -hmm. I wish we can have more Wazes to come and give us yeah, that sure. kind of wisdom mm -hmm. in this program. I'm very sure Kenya is heading somewhere. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, you have uh, guided us through the good book, and we really appreciate it. One thing uh, we would like to tell you is that to retire is not to get tired. When one retires, it does not mean he's tired to do something. Yeah, sure. But let them do what they want to do, where they want to do it. Don't continue with this ageism. As you heard them say, saying ageism, why should you discriminate them? We are heading there also. Chungu Chajami is aired every day, Monday to Friday. Thank you so much. God bless you and have a good time. Bye-bye.